Hi, I'm Paula kellogg Leibovitz, um, Chair of the Diabetes Dietetic Practice Group, and welcome to today's Built Up Dietitians live session. I'm here to discuss and to talk more about our diabetes practice group and why you might be interested in joining it and to tell you more about some of the projects and events that we have planned for this year. As we get started, I hope that you will take time to post some questions in the um, chat box and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, and I'm happy for you, uh, that you have decided to spend a little bit of time with me here today. So again, my name is Paula. I'm chair of the Diabetes Dietetic Practice Group. Uh, that is from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And um, we're one of the um, most active practice groups, I'm happy to say. And as of this moment, we're actually the largest practice group of the Academy. Let me tell you a little bit about what our mission is and what our vision is. And I think that when you hear that, um, it will resonate with you uh, as we um, talk about working with persons with diabetes. I think as we think about practice groups, and particularly the diabetes practice group, some of us have the misconception that in order to be a member of our diabetes practice group, that you have to be a certified diabetes care and education specialist, which was before called a certified diabetes educator. So. Um, let me clear up that myth right out of the blocks. Um, you do not have to have any specialty credential to be a member of our practice group. If you are a person that works up with uh, persons with diabetes, then this practice group is for you because we provide lots of resources to help you work with the person with diabetes. So our mission is a world where all people affected by diabetes thrive. And isn't that what we really want to strive for? A world where those that have diabetes thrive. And our vision is optimizing the prevention and management of diabetes through person-centered care, including nutrition and collaborative relationships. So um, I think that's a mission and a vision that can resonate with all of us because as we work with those with diabetes, that's indeed what we're trying to do. We want our clients to thrive. So let me um, talk a little bit about the benefits of our practice group. One of the biggest benefits, I think, especially uh, during COVID and this virtual world that we are living in, is how do we secure um, CEUs that are meaningful so that we can maintain our RDN credential. And if in fact we are a certified diabetes care and education specialist, that we can maintain that credential. And the beauty of our publications and our webinars that provide CEUs is that those CEUs can be used to maintain both of those credentials. I think I want to talk first about On the Cutting Edge. That's our peer-reviewed publication. I'm holding it up and I'm hoping that you can see it. Um, our peer-reviewed publication that's published three times per year. And each of those um, issues are theme-focused. And the most recent one was double-themed collaborative approaches for mitigating cardiovascular disease risk in type 2 diabetes. Each of these publications provides four CEUs. So in the course of one year, you can earn three CEUs. Uh, I'm sorry, in the course of one year, you can earn 12 CEUs, four from each of the three issues that um, are published. So. Um, that's a huge member benefit to get 12 CEUs um, from a publication that is so well respected. Additionally, each of these publications is posted on our website. 
and our website is diabetesdpg.org. And as a member, you have access to each of the um, issues for three years. And again, a big, big benefit um, for those of us who are members of our practice group. So I wanted to be sure to point that out. Um, our next issue of On the Cutting Edge, which is due out fairly soon, is on hypoglycemia and extreme hypoglycemia. And it's a, a topic that um, is something that we um, have not, we don't oftentimes talk enough about um, severe hypoglycemia. So, um, you know, I think that's something to um, look forward to and I think to gain more knowledge. So I'm just checking. I want to see, I want to make sure I don't need to um, hit any other um, uh, setting to to have comments appear. Um, so I'm hoping um, that we have more comments that will come up as I continue this discussion. And so let me just continue on um, about our practice group. Another um, benefit of our practice group are our webinars. And our webinars, the beauty, as you all know, of webinars is that you can listen live, as some of you might be doing right now as I'm talking about our diabetes practice group, or you can listen at your leisure. And each year we provide minimally six webinars for one credit Per webinar and that is um, a huge benefit that's another six CEUs that you can um, that you can earn by um, just listening to our webinars and there's a cross-section of webinars that you can listen to and again these are posted on our website and are available for up to three years so that's a total of 18 credits that you can earn um, for our, by uh, being a member of our practice group for your $35 membership per year. It's, a, it's an incredible value. And again, those CEUs are applicable both for maintaining um, your CDCES credential, if you are um, so credentialed, and your RDN credential. Um, so, and we had a question asking about um, our DG, DPG being involved in about some of the issues regarding insulin medication costs for those with diabetes. And I'm also um, pleased to say that we have been working with the Washington office um, from the Academy who continues to monitor legislation and um, information on this topic and um, you know, ask for our feedback. And we have an active um, PAL or um, uh, professional, oh my goodness, um, I'm drawing a blank on what that acronym stands for, but our PAL and our reimbursement rep um, and our committee, which we are working on putting together now, are continuing to look at these issues that um, resonate with our clients because as we all know, um, insulin and the cost of insulin is a huge issue. Also, I want to mention another benefit of our practice group where something like this topic would be, uh, would come up is our discussion board where members can uh, ask questions um, and have conversations. And this is often really uh, a rich resource for issues that are happening right now something that we might need a particular resource for. And we have an active discussion board. And again, those are posted and you can access our discussion board um, on our website at diabetesdpg.org. And so that's another resource where um, issues that are um, in the media, issues that pertain to our clients are uh, where there's an opportunity to have dialogue with colleagues that are perhaps experiencing the same concerns or issues that um, you might be experiencing. So um, I, that's yet another benefit of our DPG. Righty. So 
I'll continue to to talk, and um, I I know that um, sometimes it's it's difficult to to think of questions that perhaps are um, pertinent to um, an academy DPG or a diabetes DPG. Uh, so I'll continue to to talk on. I've highlighted. Uh, three of our benefits are on the cutting edge, the peer-reviewed publication. I've highlighted our webinars, our discussion board. I want to highlight something that's happening this year that is particularly, particularly um, exciting. It's new. We're having a virtual diabetes symposium, and that will be um, open, um, offered in February over two days. And I just want to give you the dates. It will be February 19th and February 20th. And the time will be 1 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Central Time on Friday the 19th and 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Time on Saturday, February 20th. And that um, might be something that you will find very interesting. I know the speakers are going to be outstanding. And um, so look for more details. Look for more details if you're attending FENCI. Um, on our member showcase, we'll have um, more specific information. And um, I think, again, in this virtual world, the opportunity to attend um, a symposium that focuses on diabetes and the care for persons with diabetes, as well as um, being culturally sen uh, sensitive and um, looking at diversity issues, which certainly has been something um, that's been in the in discussed on across all channels of the academy and across all channels of our um, our own media and and world. Um, so please uh, take um, a glance and look for information on the virtual symposium. So the officers um, of our diabetes DPG. Um, there was a question about that. We have a great um, group of uh, diabetes uh, officers. And if again, if you go to our website and you go to About Us and click down, there is a listing of all of our officers and a little something about each of our executive committee. I'll let you know that um, Connie Brown Riggs is our immediate past chair. She's well known in the diabetes community uh, for her communication, the books she's written, and she is terrific to work with. And Janice McLeod, who's um, also very, very well known, who um, was one of the authors on um, the uh, some of the consensus reports that have been published, is our chair elect. And both of them are just outstanding uh, to work with. And I feel um, we're a team of three as chairs because once you commit to um, serving as chair elect, then you serve as chair and past chair. So it's a commitment, um, but it, it's, it's a wonderful team to work with. Um, and other officers that are um, on our board are Melissa Dobbins that again, I think you have all um, know very, very well and is just a fabulous spokesperson. And you're probably uh, hope, wishing you were listening to her because I know she does fabulous podcasts. Um, so she um, is our uh, marketing and communications director and also an awesome person uh, to, um, to work with. So she's been um, you know, excellent to work with. Kathy Wong is our um, web, web editor um, Anna Parker, also well-known researcher, uh, serves as our professional development chair and in fact is chair of our virtual symposium. So those just highlight the breadth of knowledge. Shamira Robinson um, is our diversity liaison and works with the um, ADA and um, she's, you know, has been wonderful. And I'll let you know that Shamira and uh, Connie and also one of our uh, other members recently hosted um, uh, a diversity roundtable discussion that was well attended by members and really um, very, very well done. So I just noticing here, um, just to go back to Connie, Connie Brown Riggs did do a Facebook live chat 
And so um, you definitely want to check in the video library to to see it and to check it out. She's um, she's a wonderful speaker and presenter and has a wealth of knowledge um, and also deals with um, information that sometimes um, maybe we don't think of. I'll mention one other person that um, most of you have heard or maybe you've watched her YouTube uh, videos, Toby Smithen, and she um, is our social media chair. I just also want to highlight three of our members um, who have received um, recognition this year by our DPG. Our Outstanding Diabetes Educator of the Year, in fact, was Toby Smithson, and so she's well, well deserves this recognition. Jennifer Okama served as um, a past PAL and reimbursement chair, and she was recognized this year for our legislative award. And Jojo D'Antone, who's at a past chair of our practice group and a, as well recently completed a term as serving as treasurer of the academy, um, received our Distinguished Service Award. Each of those folks will be recognized at our, at FENCI, at our awards recognition and reception. So let me uh, send out an invite right now. Our awards uh, reception, our awards recognition and reception will take place on Saturday, October 17th at 5 p.m. Central Time for one hour. And um, this reception is open to all Academy members. You do not have to be registered for FENCI. You do not need to be a member of our practice group. It's open to all Academy members. Though I will tell you, should we get inundated, um, preference will be given to our diabetes um, practice group members. Let me tell you, so besides recognizing our award uh, recipients, we're planning to have a cooking demo, but the fun part of it is um, we are also planning to have a wine tasting and food pairing um, led by Jojo Dantone and uh, Jennifer Okama. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I can guarantee you I know them both very well. They are a lot of fun and they will definitely make it entertaining. Uh, so again, that will occur. Um, it will be a nice way to start and to kick off your fancy. It will occur on uh, Saturday, October 17th, 5 p.m. Central Time. All of that information will be uh, published in um, fancy information or it will be, it's also will be on our website. Uh, so you can look for it there. Alrighty. So just uh, checking to see if we have any other questions or um, comments that you might have about the diabetes DPG or why you think you might uh, think about joining it. So 18 CEUs per year, um, great discussion board. Another benefit I'll tell you about, which I haven't highlighted, are our patient handouts. Uh, and our patient education handouts, again, are posted on our uh, website. They're a great resource um, for uh, individuals who work with diabetes, which again, underscores the fact that you don't have to be a person with, uh, you don't have to be a person or an RDN who has a CDE or is certified as a certified diabetes care and education specialist to benefit from our practice group. Patient education handouts when we're working with persons with diabetes are something that all of us um, can use and um, it's really great to have those resources. And as I said that on the cutting edge sometimes we just might need a tune-up or need to understand more information and something like the most recent um, on the cutting edge that dealt with cardiovascular disease and diabetes uh, in type uh, persons with type 2 diabetes is a, is a great resource um, to just read through, get your four CEUs, but also to make sure that you're up to date on information because we know how quickly information changes. Alrighty. 
So I think I'm going to call it, wrap it up. Um, I, I hope that I've um, answered your questions or if you have any questions. Um, my contact information is on um, the diabetes website. Uh, the Diabetes DPG website. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have or refer you to the um, appropriate person to answer uh, any questions. So I invite all of you to take a moment to visit our Diabetes DPG website at www.diabetesdpg.org. Take a glance at it. Um, you can click down while the On the Cutting Edge is available only to members, you can click down and see the various topics that are there, and you can also um, have access usually to at least one article in the most current edition. Click down and see web what webinars are uh, available. So take a moment to visit that our website at diabetesdpg.org. I hope that you'll take a moment and um, you know, Fancy is going to be, it's a whole new world this year. I hope that you'll join our virtual awards recognition and re uh, recognition that, um, re our awards recognition and reception, I'm sorry, that will be held on October 17th at 5 p.m. Central Time. Um, it should be a fun time. Um, take a chance. Come in. What do you have to lose? If it's the worst thing in the world, you can always sign off. But Take a moment, register um, for it, and I hope that you'll see us and, uh, and join us uh, for that uh, reception. I also, um, if you are registered for Fency, I hope that you will take a moment to visit our member showcase. The member showcases will be 12.30 to 2.30 Central Time on Monday, October 19th. And that um, member showcase is um, unopposed, so there won't be any other activities that will be going on at that time. Take a minute, just peruse it, see what's there, what's available. Um, so I hope that you'll do that. And one other thing that I want to invite you to uh, consider um, attending if you are registered for Fancy is our spotlight session, which will be uh, the unique challenges of successful management uh, diabetes management in older adults. And that's going to be on Tuesday, October 20th from 11.30 to 12.30 p.m. Uh, Central Time. Uh, so, and then again, that virtual symposium will be taking place in February. Of course, that will be open to members and non-members. It will uh, definitely provide you some outstanding information. Uh, and I hope that you will take the opportunity to attend one or both of the days. So I want to thank you for the opportunity uh, to provide you some information about our diabetes uh, dietetic practice group. Again, my name is Paula kellogg Leibovitz. I'm chair of the diabetes dietetic practice group. I hope that you'll visit our website that has all of the information that I um, just discussed um, there. And again, it's at diabetesdpg.org. Thank you so much. Stay safe and be well.